All right. Hello, everyone. It is so good to see your faces on this Zoom. There are a hundred of you here. And for those of you who are watching the recording, um, I'm sorry if we're not able to get in, but I'm also grateful that this is being recorded. Um, and really, it is all, um, even if you're here or not, everybody is muted and you will all be seeing the same thing. So um, I am super excited about celebration and always am every year. And so because of that, I have decided to do a training for the entire demonstrator base if you choose to listen. Um, my name is Rhonda Wade. Uh, I do business training um, as a business um, for Stand Up Demonstrators. I've been doing it for 16 years and we train every single week. So we train on celebration all the time. Uh, to this year, I decided to open it up to anybody who wants to listen. Number one, because I am very passionate about Stampin' Up! Demonstrators and about Stampin' Up! as in general, as in whole. So it's it, I'm, it matters a lot to me about how all of us find success and how all of us um, build our businesses and grow and strong, the stronger we all are. So I root on every single one of you because the stronger you are, the stronger Stampin' Up! is. And the stronger Stampin' Up! is, and the more that they can do for us and support us con continually. So we all have a vested interest in all of our success. So I am one of your biggest cheerleaders, and I'm also one of your biggest supporters. Uh, celebration has been around for as long as I can remember. I've been a demonstrator for 23 years, and I believe it's been around for over 30 years. Um, I'll give you a little bit of... Um, a backstory that I've been told a couple times, and this is, um, and for those of you who've been around for as long as I have, uh, you might have heard the story too. And I think I got I got all the, the facts mostly correct. Um, but how celebration came to fruition in Stampin' Up! Um, so it's been around for over thirty years. Number one, something that's been around for that long means that it works, right? It is a powerful thing. Um, you know, very little things are around for that long. Yes, it's evolved a little bit through the years. It's only gotten bigger and stronger, um, but it is a powerful tool that we have in our businesses. Uh, again, about 30 years ago, Stampin' Up!, maybe even more than that now, uh, was going through bankruptcy. Um, Shelly very much realized and they realized that they were telling her, you don't have any more money. Um, she was giving away too much and paying too much, and she had to make some changes. First, she stopped paying her demonstrator base for a short period of time. At that, When they made that announcement, over half of the demonstrator base left, um, and half of them stayed and didn't get paid um, for, a, for a little while. Um, at that time, they also came up with a concept of celebration that next year. And that one year with celebration as well, dramatically changed the outlook of Stampin' Up!, right? Obviously, they're still here today. Um, I know she also got a loan from Sterling, too, to help, but they said right then that celebration was one of the biggest items that they had year after year after year that helped them to grow and, and strong. And it if it works, right? I'm always the one, if it works, don't change it, right? Keep rolling with it. So celebration has been a tried and true huge boost in Stampin' Up! and in all of our businesses. Personally, I have every year, I am amazed, I shouldn't be, but every year at the end of celebration on March 1st, I am just usually blown away by what has happened within my team, within my own business, within my fellow demonstrators, um, that it can be such a powerful tool. I always say that celebration is like a jackhammer. So if you had a cement pad outside your house and you wanted to remove it to be able to put down, let's say, a deck or a garden or something, right? You had to break up that cement pad. Do you want to have like a little hammer and a chisel or do you want to have a jackhammer? A jackhammer is what I call celebration. It is a powerful tool that works. It works really well. Now, if the jackhammer is sitting next to the cement pad and you don't pick it up and use it, well, that's that's not the jackhammer's fault. That's your fault by letting it just sit there. So, but you actually have to pick up the jackhammer and you have to use it. 
Now, if I tried to use it, I'd be all over the place, right? I don't have a clue how to use it. So that's one reason why you're here is I'm hoping to give you some plans, some confidence on how you can use celebration to be truly a powerful tool in your business. And it does take planning ahead. One of the reasons why I chose to do this training for the company wide is that they made some big changes this year. Number one, the biggest changes celebration starts for us on November 19th. That's incredible. That like rocks my world. Um, that gives us so much more time to plan. We're not trying to squeeze it in around Christmas and the holidays. We can start earning our celebration products right away on November 19th. I'm just so excited about this. Um, so I want to be able to give you guys tools, step-by-step -step things, um, a plan to be able to, and you will have the next six weeks to be able to put this plan into place. And then you can execute right away on in when January hits here. And then you are off and running with your customers. You don't have to then, you know, we have so much more time to prepare and to plan. Uh, so I'm going to give you a lot of different ideas on how you can use celebration by starting now and planning ahead. So I did this call a little bit earlier ever than I've ever trained on celebration because we have to move our brains into the mode where normally we'd be doing this in the middle of December. Well, now we get to do it in the middle of November. What an incredible perk to be a demonstrator. We get three and a half full months a celebration. Customers get seven weeks. It's a huge perk for us. Something we really need to be talking to with our customers about, like joining Stampin' Up! Now, because starting now on our demonstrator orders, we get to take advantage of celebration perks. We get to get the free products with our $60 order in the U.S. Again, other countries, you will make your own conversions. So I want you to Plan ahead and use that wisely. What can you do with this extra time? What can you do with all this extra product that we're going to be earning? Because when you put in your demonstrator orders, your pre-orders and your diamond personal orders that you're placing for your business, you will be earning these celebration perks from the very beginning. So I want to encourage you and give you a plan and give you some confidence on how you can use this um, powerful tool even way sooner than we ever have before. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. I just want to give you some, I've obviously give you some background as to celebration. Um, I also want to give you some background as to why are you here? Why are you listening to me? This is definitely not my first training. Um, I've been, again, I've been doing this for over 16 years. I've been training my team um, for well over since I started. Personally, I have over 700 team members and one of my greatest passions is them, um, is you, is our company. Um, I will be doing this for my entire life. My children are part of my business and I am in this for the long haul. So that means I want Stampin' Up! to be as strong as possible. So there's no secret. There's nothing that I keep hidden. I share everything that I do with anybody because I want to share with you those step-by-step um, actions that you can take to help grow your business too. And that means to strengthen you, strengthen Stampin' Up, and that strengthens all of us. We are all sisters in this together. So thank you, and a few brothers. So thank you so much for being here and for trusting me and for, you know, for investing in this hour of your time. Um, but this investment requires then for you to take some action. There's going to be a lot of action steps for you to take but you can trust those action steps. Um, they are coming from very tried and true business practices that I've been following myself for 23 years, but also watching hundreds and thousands of demonstrators follow these same steps and find success as well. All right, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of screen share with you because I wanna actually not just talk to you, but actually show you a few things. So first, we're going to talk about uh, why is celebration so magical? It, it is such a magical time. We're going to talk mostly about planning ahead. So this uh, training is going to hopefully last just over an hour long because I had to give you a little bit of a backdrop there. Um, 
but it's more about what can we do now to plan ahead for celebration. I'm not going to talk to you about like how to recruit during celebration. That is like a whole nother topic that that I cover. Um, I have we do like a five week recruiting plan and how do we book hostesses and hold celebration um, parties. Those are things that are going to be like action steps that you will take. But today, just to give you proper expectations, it's more about ways that we plan ahead and prepare that you can start now um, when it's November 13th. If you're watching this live or watching it very shortly after, the brochures have been posted. Um, and also, uh, we can begin pre-ordering and earning our celebration bet perks starting November 19th. All right. Um, the first thing is to participate in swaps. Step one. Step one is we have to fall in love. We have to fall in love. Sometimes it's not like head over heels in love. Maybe it's just a little crush. Maybe it's just a little, a little bit of, uh, you know, adoration, but we have to fall in love with this product. If you love it, you will be able to share it and show it. Every year I hear some demonstrators chatter and, and, and I'll hear what they say, there is nothing that I like in that brochure. I can't even get behind it. And, and honestly, it makes me almost want to pull your hair because that's crazy. There, you just don't like the picture of it. If you would, if you would even play with it for a second, if you would even like touch it, feel it, get the paper in your hands, stamp it, start to color it, it will come to life for you. But that's is true. Just looking at pictures in a catalog does not even begin to help you to fall in love with this product. You have to have it. You have to play with it. You have to, to create samples with it. And do you know what? Owning everything in that book would cost a lot of money, right? Because you can't, you can't buy it. You have to get it for free. And the time it would take to create all those samples is an overwhelming amount of time. So lucky for us, we're demonstrators and we have a really incredible community that does something that we call swapping. So 100% start participating in swaps. Um, now, if you don't know of any swaps, I, I, there are groups uh, personally, if you are in the Creating Success Training Program, we do a swap every single new catalog. Um, you know, If you are a part of a team, organize a swap. If you're a leader, you better be doing some swaps with your team. You want everybody on your team playing with a celebration product. So um, the swaps is one of the best ways to get your hands on a larger amount of samples a product you might not even really care for at first. I'm going to give you an example. When I saw this year's mini catalog, the Regal Flora, Regal Flora Suite, I saw it and I was like, yeah, that's horrible. What in the world were they thinking? We've, I mean, that wallpaper belongs like in a, in, on my grandma's wallpapered wall. Like I just cannot stand that paper. And then all of a sudden I saw a sample with it and I was like, whoa, stunning. I saw it again. Like, wow. Ooh, Rhonda, you might've misspoke. Like, and sure enough, I, that was actually the very first suite that I did a class on. Fell in love with it when I saw it in person when I actually touched it and feel it and saw it. I've created so many beautiful, stunning projects with that paper, but I would have absolutely not even given it the time of day just by looking at it in the catalog. So that's what we have to do. You guys can do it. And you can do it with your team members, with your sidelines. Um, find a swap to be a part of. So many groups do swaps. And if not, then you start your own swap. You, you find, and you don't have to have 100 people. You just need like five or six. Obviously, with some groups, you might have more. But you just, and I'm going to give you some other ways. But number one is swapping. So uh, basically, uh, or you can run shoebox swaps. So every December, we do a shoebox swap with my team. And we suggest that the product has to be celebration. Now, if they don't own any of it, then um, then they can use something that is from the new mini catalog. But it's a celebration suggested swap. So that way we can start right off January. with. So we do shoebox swaps. We do a whole team swap. Uh, lots of them. Um, number two is to um, actually find, if, if, if you can't do a swap or even on top of a swap, find three or four or five 
demonstrate our friends. Now, if you're a leader, go to your team and maybe help facilitate this. But you want to find, like, say, four of you, and each of you pick either a stamp set. I looked at the I looked at the book already really briefly, and there's lots of adorable stamp sets. And I believe there is about four different packs of paper. Um, and then there's obviously a bundle. I saw a bundle or two. So each person, you pick four people. Each person picks either a stamp set or a bundle and probably a paper, all right? And then you take your stamp set or you take your bundle and you make four cards using that bundle. But then you make each one four times. So you do make a total of 20 cards or 16 cards. One card, make it four times. Then the four of you, you ship your four to her and to her and to her and to him. So you ship them out, or if you're local, you guys can even get together and just do the swapping together. And the next thing you know, you end up with four full classes, four full, what I call set samplers or baggy books. I'm gonna talk about those here in a second. So there is no excuse to not have, you want a lot of samples. Again, when you see that in action, in an actual class like that, it's also going to make it even that much more powerful. So. Line up those people now, find your friends, find your team members, find your, and if you have a team and you're a leader, go ahead and let them sign up in groups of four. Help facilitate that. The more that your team plays with celebration products, the more that they're going to spend to get them for free. Um, and then the more they're going to share that with their customers who will spend to get them for free. Um, the next thing I love to do after we do all of these, um, these swaps, these um, class shares, is that we want to create samples or displays. Um, one of my favorite ways, and I don't have a sample here for you because right now I'm actually in um, my craft room that's in an apartment that I live in half the week. So this is not my studio. So I don't have all my things here, um, but I um, is what we call set samplers or bag ebooks. But hopefully you can envision it. It's just you take your samples, I would say at least four, but you can put five, 10, however many you want to. And you put, you slip them into our six by eight cello bags, our clear cello bags. We sell them, you get 50 in a package, I think for $6. So they are like, is that 60 cents a piece, six cents a piece? They're super cheap. Um, and then you just take a topper on top of them and you, and you pin it, you, I staple it together. And then I just label the top of it with what the name of the stamp set is or if it's featuring paper um, or whatever. And then that baggy book, I will use at all of my events. If I have a class, um, if I'm doing an online video, and because we can only show one card or one project. And then that shows all the other ways that they can use it. You can create foam display boards. I love just those really simple, you know, small foam boards where you just, um, I put my cards into clear envelopes and then I take tear and tape um, and I use, and I stick the clear envelope onto the, onto the foam board. Cause then I can just pull the cards out and put new ones in. And I use my foam boards for years and years and years and years. Um, and my clear envelopes just, just stick on there. So we wanna create these displays. Um, in years past, we've had to really scramble to get this done. Not now. You guys have weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks to get this done. And don't do it alone. Do it with it with it with a team member. Do it with your team. Do it with a sideline. You guys help each other and do this together. And then you guys will all it'd be a lot easier for you to get samples that way. Um, so uh, the next thing is for you, um, for those of you who are leaders, one of the things I suggest right now is that every December I do a team event. And um, I'm going to show you some samples here in a minute. Um, but these are just some of the ways that we want to get samples. Um, the, the, the team event I do is usually the first or second week of December. And we are making, we are, we are making celebration samples together. The cost for my event is about $45 to $50. It includes about $25 of current merchandise. And the reason why is because we need, um, in order for us to be able to sell celebration stuff, right, we have to be selling current merchandise because they can only get celebration for free. 
So we still have to focus on our current merchandise. We have to focus on our new mini catalog products, our online exclusives to be able to actually even sell and promote our, um, our celebration products. So um, it's usually about $25 worth of, of current merchandise. And I'll show you a sample of it, the one I just did last year. And then they come and they make usually 12. Um, my last one, we did 12. So I picked three different stamp sets, some of the, the papers and the bundles. And we made those four or three baggy books. So they at least could have samples for at least three of the different products. Um, this is a team event that I do every single year. The timing of it, it's horrible. Yes, December is not my favorite time to do this, but it is it, it is the important time to do it because we want them, again, starting celebration off with the passion, the desire. And the way that I look at it is by the time I'm done with that event, I'm set to, I'm ready to go in my business. Yes, it was a lot of work, but again, take your team along with you with all the work that you're doing, whatever size team that you have. All right, so um, let's go ahead and do that screen share. So just some of the beginning things that I wanted to do. And uh, let me see if I'm going to do this right. Um, let me pull up my, there, let's see. Oh, good, Jennifer, you're on my screen. Can you see my PowerPoint? All right, good. And actually this PowerPoint is not in the right place. So um, I'm gonna need to, well, that's not what I wanna do either. Um, that's not, all right, hold on. I was so good about getting it loaded up for you guys and it's, it's not even in the right place. So let me do this. Oh goodness, here we go. You gotta love the technical parts of this. All right, let's see here. Why is it starting? There we go. Let's do that. Okay, now we're ready. All right, we're gonna plan ahead to really let celebration build our business. Um, this is our, okay. So this is our, um, we're not allowed to share the inside of the pages, um, but this is our catalog cover. Super cute, super fun and using our new in colors, love that. Um, when I talk to you about um, creating samples, one of the things that I do um, every single, um, I wanna see if I can move your faces. Well, everything is I like to create designer series paper samplers. So with every single one of the papers, we create those samplers. We just cut them into the little two by two squares and then we put them on a sampler page. Um, that's a, that's an event I do with my team so that they all have those set sam um, those paper samplers as well. This is an example that I just told you about of my team event that I did um, that I do every celebration to get ready for it. Um, you can I personally partner with two other demonstrators, so um, actually or two or three, and we each pick one bundle and then uh, we share it with each other. And then I can offer it to my team and I have 12 projects now and I only had to, had to design four. So I really do like partnering with other leaders. It helps me to be able to get a lot of work done during a very busy time. Um, so, but here you can see in this picture, like this is where you and I included current merchandise too. So we include like, the, this is of course last year, um, there was in color twine, the in color dots. Um, we actually included note cards in this and we included the little loose daisies. So we included a lot of the current merchandise that we could use in our projects as well. Um, next, uh, the, our next step. So step two is actually to create a plan. Um, even if you have a face-to-face -face business or a lot of us have hybrid businesses, and there's many of you who are all online, we really want to create our plan now. So I call this a social media plan. Every single week that I work my business, there's purpose behind it. So we have enough celebration products that you can pick one product per week to focus on. 
So I started off with the fun part, the creativity part. And so now we have all these tools to be able to use to plug into our social media plan. So these dates are not accurate. These were dates from last year, but you, so I would probably start this year on January 6th. I could start the day before um, or the week, that Monday. So I always pick a featured product that I want to focus on. Now for celebration, you're going to want to pick two products. One is your celebration product and two is the coordinating mini catalog product. Because again, we have to sell current product in order to in order to be able to get the desire for our celebration product. So every week I always ask myself, what am I what what am I featuring this week? And then I will use that product all week long. I'll use it in just sharing pictures. I'll use it in like a tip that I have to share. I will use it in my Facebook Live. So whatever my Facebook Live is, if it's a class, um, if it is a craft along, um, if it's just my weekly, which that's what I teach. I teach doing Facebook Lives that have purpose, not just for entertainment. So Pretty much every week is either a Facebook Live class or a Facebook Live craft along or something that has like a purpose behind it. So what when is your Facebook Live that week? Um, hopefully you have at least one consistent one. And if you don't do Facebook Lives, that's okay. Then when is your email? You got to email this information out then to your customers. Um, every one of us should have a very active and strong email list. If you're in person, um, if you're face-to-face, -face, and if you're online, it is equally important for, for all of you. And then I will put on here, what samples do I have to post? So I'll actually look through my samples that I've gathered, take pictures, um, make sure I have pictures taken. And then I always like to use a couple of Stampin' Ups too. Um, so I usually pick two or three of my own and then two or three of Stampin' Up. Now, for you to do all of this on your own would be a lot of work to create all this. This is why we have to do those things to begin with and plan from the very beginning. So that's step number one. These are things to do before celebration even begins. Um, step number two is something that I call a, a celebration celebration. Um, personally, I've been doing this for about uh, 16 years. Um, as long as I've been doing training, because one of my very first guest speakers I had in my training business was Mary Polson. Some of you know her name and you know her, um, but she was our first million dollar achiever, actually. And she runs her bit. She ran her business completely face to face and still does and um, would sell over one hundred thousand dollars a year back when that was like really hard to do. And it's still very hard to do, um, but it was all face to face. So anyway, Mary taught me about something called a celebration celebration. And uh, she would do 80% of her business during celebration. And she uh, tested a lot of it to samples, you know, making samples, having those baggy books, having the uh, for all of them. And then she also tested it to her celebration celebration that people would just never want to miss it. Um, so I, I'm, hey, listen, I'm willing to learn from people who have results. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to try this, Mary. And I've been doing it ever since. But, we, we, but the, part, the point of this is you have to advertise it from the very beginning. So you guys have to plan for this now so that from, from every step, from the first step of celebration to all the way through, you want to be using this as a carrot to dangle for your customers. So they earn a spot. Um, in the past, it's only been two different ways. This year, there I'm going to be adding in a third way for them to be able to earn their spot. So, if you can, this is just a little flyer that I have used. Again, these are this is a past celebration, um, but it just gives you. A, I wouldn't change much of it. I do the same thing. We um, I do this in person, um, and I also do it on a Zoom. So my business now is predominantly online, so I do it as a Zoom. So this can be, this is for every business model and every business type. So they have to place orders during celebration that total at least one hundred and fifty dollars, and then they get to attend. So that obviously means they can do three smaller orders um, or four. Now this year, it, I'm obviously going to jump that up to 180 because I want them to be able to um, earn the three kind of three celebration times. Or they can just put in a $180 order and then they get to come. 
Um, so that's that's option one. This is something you want to continually be talking about and showing. Um, at the end of February, you're going to want to reaching out to all of your customers that haven't reached 180 and saying, do you realize you're just one order away um, from being able to attend our celebration celebration? It, you have to get this started. Um, your first one, it might not be as big or as powerful because no one's experienced it. They don't know what you're talking about. But let me tell you, if you do this year after year after year, it will it will have a huge impact on your business. Um, the second way that they get to earn a spot is to be a hostess. They can host a kit party. They can host a regular workshop. They can host um, a, a Facebook party. They can just be a hostess where they're inviting the people to come. The only minimum is that they have to have that qualifying order and the qualifying order for us is 150. So it has to be a qualified workshop. But then as a hostess, they get to attend the celebration celebration. And then the last way um, that they will get to attend is by buying the starter kit. Um, in the years past, I have not had that in there because I was always under the impression that it was against compliance to do anything for a starter kit. But this year, it was clarified to me that the the um, for um, when it comes to compliance, and you can always call compliance about their rules. Don't ask me about them. But how what I had clarified is that it states you cannot discount the starter kit, and you cannot add any product onto the starter kit. You cannot do that. Um, but if you wanted to buy them a trip to Florida for purchasing the starter kit, you could do that. <laughs> but so this one, they just get to earn their spot to come to our celebration celebration. Because a lot of my very best customers buy the starter kit and I hate the fact that they couldn't come to it and now they can. So if they purchase a starter kit, if they put orders in that are over $180 throughout the whole time, or if they're one of my hostesses, they get to earn their spot to a celebration celebration. You wanna have flyers made for this. You want every customer to know about it. But what this does is it breeds loyalty. It helps them to always come to you to put their money in because then they're gonna get this spot. Um, in a celebration celebration, we do, it's basically a free, it's, just, it's a free class that's really fun. So we do free make and takes. I usually do five make and takes. Um, there's door prizes, we play bingo, we play other games, um, we do a little scavenger hunt. Um, I get, I have, I make everyone a gift who comes. Um, I've done like mason jars filled with caramel corn. I've done, um, I've had this really awesome woodworker who has like made little signs with their names on it. Um, my, my personal budget is $5 is what I pay for their gift. So it's not anything lavish, but it's $5. Um, now that we, that I do my video zoom, I just have to make sure that they're relatively light and relatively flat that I can ship them in, um, in their, that padded envelope. And then usually, um, for the live one, for my in-person one, uh, I used to always do a chocolate fountain. Like that was everyone's favorite. So, and it's my favorite too. Like the one time of year I got to get a chocolate fountain too. So this is something you want to schedule from the very beginning. Um, I love celebration celebration that I also offer it for my team. So my downline gets to earn a celebration celebration too. And I announced this in December. So they know what do they have to do to earn their spot. Um, these are, I do separate events, um, but you may do one big event and everybody gets to attend. That's up to you or your business and your business model. But it's kind of the same concept where it's, you know, a make and take package. It's a class. Um, again, it'll have uh, maybe some designer series paper in it. It'll have like a full embellishment, um, fun and spoiling games, door prizes, gifts, and a, and a dessert. Um, when I do this with my team, though, I do also do this. I do this on Zoom as well. And I like to have like guest stampers, guest presenters. Uh, personally, I do this with two other demonstrator friend leaders. And we all offer it to our teams. And then again, same thing. Um, we each design you know, two of the projects. So we might offer six projects. Uh, we use brand new upcoming product that they're gonna want to use in their business. Um, we also do presentations for them. 
And then each one of us picks one of our leaders to share their story, to share, you know, how they grew during celebration and to be really motivating. I think it's motivating to hear from other people that are even in other groups too. So the downline one is a celebration, but it's also a time for them to learn from each other and grow and become even more inspired. So how do they earn their spot to come? Um, I do not recognize sales. And the reason why is because Stampin' Up! already does, right? Like Stampin' Up! rewards them. If they get sales or if they have a, you know one recruit or two recruits, Stampin' Up! gives them a lot of free product, way more than I could ever give. So instead, I re reward two things. If they promote to Bronze Elite or a, a Bucks, so they just have to promote, um, then they get to earn their spot. And I do this for all of my three levels. By the way, I do all of my training, all of my incentives, all of my meetings. Everything I do is for all of my three levels. But just to clarify that, um, so this is for, again, my first, all my directs, and then my second and third level. Or if they have, or they can earn their spot by having three or more recruits. Because I might have like a silver elite on my team or even a, you know, a, sometimes even a silver or a gold. And for them to promote to the next level sometimes takes quite a bit. And seven weeks is not enough for them to do that. But they can earn their spot by having three or more recruits. Again, Stamp It Up rewards them for two. I want to push them one step further to get that third one. And then they get to earn their spot. Because you're investing, you know, uh, these prizes cost me, this event cost me about $25 a person by the time I put together their gift, their make and take packet, and then their shipping. So the people who are earning this are actually really producing an income for me. And and um, so I'm getting paid their my, my um, downline overrides. And then if they are promoting, then those are also trip points and eventually bonuses too. So this is an investment, um, but it's an investment in people who are return increasing my income as well. So uh, celebration, celebration. You have to plan ahead. You have to start this and start marketing it from the very, very beginning in order for it to work. This doesn't work if you come up with it the last week of February because you're not dangling the carrot. You have to dangle the carrot from the very beginning to make it work. Um, this is just one of, this is, I think from two years ago, but I just wanted to give you a concept of what does like, this was my celebration, celebration. You can tell a celebration, celebration, make and takes. Um, and I, this year I band together with all of my, I have um, gold and gold elite leaders on my team or above. And then we all made a card and we all offered it to our teams. So anyway, again, you can band together with other leaders um, and then we did an event together and they created one of each of the cards. Um, but you can kind of see what, what I mean by that. So these are some of the, uh, um, a sample of what we would do at a downline celebration celebration. All right, next step. So this is step three. Um, the first step was your social, you know, create your, create all of your displays, create your samples. Um, next was your, your social media plan. How are you going to use those samples all through those seven weeks? So your plan ahead, you know what you're doing. You can work ahead or you can at least every week know what you're going to do. I think so many of us do nothing because we're frozen because we don't know what to do. And then we're all over the place or we get very overwhelmed. But if you create your plan and then you just execute your plan, you work so much more efficiently. Um, one of the other things, this is, I have been doing this guys for 20 years. This is my, if you want to know, like Rhonda, tell me a secret to how you get recruits. Um, since I've been a demonstrator, I think I've recruited over 400 people. Probably I recruit all of my customers. Um, eventually people who drop, I invite them all to come back. Um, and one of my number one times to recruit is during celebration. I always usually set a goal to get between 20 and 30 recruits. And I usually reach that. Um, and this is my secret, guys. Obviously, yes, I talk to my customers. I build relationships with them. Like we talk about it. I talk about the starter kit all the time. I talk about my team. I love my team. 
Um, I want them a part of my team. And I tell them that I want you. Come on, I want you. People want to go where they're wanted, where they're appreciated, where they're valued. Okay, but so I, that is the foundation that I build from. And now I like to put it in black and white, what they are actually doing. Um, Jennifer, can you see all of this or is your guys' pictures in the way? You can see it? Okay, it's just for me. All right, so this again is from 2019. Like I just found one, I, I'll show you another one. So I just want you to get the concept. This product is not current, but this is, this is what I tell people. One of the number one obstacles that we have always faced and always will face is that uh, ordering can be very overwhelming for people, especially newer, especially if they're a newer, a newer, a newer customer. Ordering is so overwhelming. I, I'm telling you, even when I started, I almost didn't order anything because it was so overwhelming. I didn't, I didn't know what to order. And so I, I'm very firm about telling people what to order. If I tell them what to order, they do it. And then they have, it's, it's, I'm trying to help them to make a decision. It's no different than if, um, if, if this has happened to you. My son will come home from school and I, this is the, it, either young, a child, or if you're 16, I don't care, but they'll come home from school and I'll say, okay, what do you want to eat today? And then it's like, oh, I really want this. I don't know. I, I'm not hungry. Oh, I want this or this. And next thing you know, there's a meltdown, right? Flat out meltdown. Um, or when he comes home from school, I'll say, hey, I got a peanut butter and jelly and cookies for you. It's on the table. Guess what he does? He sits down and eats peanut butter and jelly and cookies and is super happy and maybe a glass of milk. So what we have to do is take away the overwhelming uh, abyss of making decisions. The older we get, the harder and harder and harder it is to make decisions. So we need to make them for them. So um, obviously they can make substitutions. They, I tell them that. So if someone comes in and knows exactly what they want, Sure thing, easy peasy, they don't need this. But the majority of people need this. So I create packages and the package will change every week. Now, so now that I follow the social media plan, my package changes every week. Um, when I was doing in-person classes weekly, my, my, package, my packages changed based on my class. So it was always about what I was using. So I would be, so in this case, I would be using the, the Gingham Gala paper. I'd be using the Butterfly Gala bundle. Oh, guys, remember that one? That was sold out like in a month. I love the Butterfly Gala. But anyway, that is, um, I would do it. My packages are not just random product. They are exactly what I'm using at that class or during that Facebook Live or during that event. It's what, I, it's what I'm using. So then they can say, okay, well, I want to buy this and this because you used it. Okay, let's put all three of these things together and now you get a free and now you get a free celebration choice. So um, every single week, you're going to come up with these packages. Now, guys, it's easy peasy, right? Like it's the same template, same one. You just go in, change the product, and then you save it. And the next week you change the product and you save it. It does not have to be difficult. I use the same thing every, I use the same template every week and I just update the template. But can you see why I get a lot of recruits? Can you see on this list? Why would you not pick the gold package? It's only $99 and you get so much more than the one down below that's $125. It's, it's, cheaper to get more and then they also get the additional discount so again this is from a while ago let me get to a, a, a more so this is what i did it maybe just a couple of years ago maybe just two years ago um i do not like this font i that was a bad choice by me so i don't like it's kind of squirrely um but anyway it's the same it's the same concept this works absolutely so these are different celebration kits you can get the the basic one the awesome one or the ultimate one, right? Like who doesn't want to be the ultimate? So I put these together. They can be customized so I can help them customize them, but they get to see. Now, uh, I, I quickly checked um, this year's recruiting you know, perk is they get to get this exclusive stamp set. 
and then two packs of markers. So the val and our, our our markers that we changed, I think what to, like, two years ago, are so much nicer than our old ones. I actually bought all the new ones, um, even though I had the old ones. They're just so much nicer for writing and obviously for coloring. Um, they get two packs of those. I think it's like an extra I don't know, seventy dollars or something like that, or it's a huge value. I think I saw that the value of the kit now is at $247 and they still only have to do the $99 plus tax. So black and white, this works. You guys can, again, plan ahead, work ahead and get these all ready to go. Again, just then you can just all you have to do is just execute. All right. So these are some things that we want to plan ahead. We also have some events that we want to plan ahead. The celebration celebration was a big one of those. Um, we also want to plan ahead a celebration, a celebration kickoff event. Let's see what I have next on here. Oh, let me go. Uh, and so, yes, this is something that you're going to want to have on display at a celebration kickoff event. So let's just talk about that for a minute. Um, what is a celebration kickoff event? Um, you can run these online and in person. So first we'll talk about in person. Obviously, um, you want to start marketing for this? Not right now. We want, we want people still purchasing product right now. I didn't say that in the beginning, but I meant to, and I'll say it at the end. Guys, this is for, this is for us. This is for us as demonstrators to plan ahead. Don't ruin it for the whole demonstrator base and start showing this stuff to your customers because then they're going to hold their orders until January 7th. And we don't want that. We have so much for them to buy right now. You have so much for them to purchase. They got to still do all their Christmas stuff. They have to still shop from, you know, the last chance list. And, and so we want to make sure that we use this stuff with our teams um, and we use it with ourselves. You can use it as a tool to want to, you know, recruit and say, hey, I've got the celebration. If you want it and you can start earning product, join my team. Um, but don't blast this to customers. You're, you're going to sabotage your, your business, your current business, if you do that. So, um, but we do want to plan ahead in our calendar. So the best time for a celebration, uh, celebration kickoff party is obviously like the day or two before. Um, and this is where they can come and get their brochure, start playing with everything. I charge $25 for this but then it's free if they place an order that night. And hello, who would not want to place an order to start getting some of the product for free? Um, so they can place an order that night. It has to be at least $30 and then they get to get, they get to come for free. We usually do you know, four or five simple make and takes using all celebration products. So they start to fall in love with it right away. And here, you're going to have all of your displays out that you've made, your, your baggy books, your foam boards, all of the samples, maybe not all of them, but a lot of them. Um, and you're going to have your signups for any of your events you have coming up. Um, you're going to also want to have a starter kit display. So I actually put out the $125 in product. And now we can also put out that new stamp set because we can buy it. And then you can also put out two packs of markers. And, and this is, I print this off on a piece of um, eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. And then I just fold it in half. So I create like a little bit of a table tent. And then they can visually see how much comes in that starter kit instead of just reading it on a piece of paper. That doesn't do anything. Um, visual brings it to life. Um, now, for the online version, same thing. I like to, to put out a starter kit and take pictures. I'll even usually do a video and show them what I would put in a sample starter kit, which is kind of fun. It's kind of fun to pick it all out. Like, what would I pick if I got to get a starter kit? So um, I love to do that. And uh, then um, online has a lot of different options. Um, for those of you who, oh, who are online, you might already be running, you know, kickoff events, but personally, I do them a little bit different each time. Uh, I might pick one day and pop on five different times and do five different projects. And then I will send them the five projects for free when they place their online order of over $50. Um, I may do five days in a row. 
and do a project at once per day. And then um, kind of leading up to celebration. And then again, during that week, you know, and, and for the few days after, if they place their minimum $50 order, then I'll send them the kit with the pieces of the, the projects for free. And lastly, it depends on my schedule. I might be super busy and I don't really have one day to do it. So I'll do one event, one hour, and I'll show them all five projects. So, um, but I will definitely absolutely do a launch event. And again, those, those five projects, again, they're simple cards, maybe a 3D item. I'll be showcasing the set samplers, the baggie books, the, I'll showcase the, um, the designer series paper samplers, like we'll showcase all the things that we've done. And then I'll show them the projects too. I do like to kind of spread it out over a whole day, but there's been times I've done just a one hour event. And there's been times where I've done, you know, one day at one day at a time as well. Okay, um, we're going to get to this in a minute, but we'll leave it there. Um, so I think I covered pretty much everything of things that I need to plan ahead for. Um, I love to do some special events during celebration. I always do like a winter retreat, um, stamp camps, because it gives me a chance to really value add because I can use Celebration product in there because it's free. Um, this is one of the main reasons why I want to do this early is because I want to talk to you about what do and what can you do with a lot of the Celebration product that you get, that you receive, that you earn. So uh, um, personally, the way that I teach to run your business, the way that I, I run my business, um, we do a lot of different two main different things in our businesses. We run free with purchase classes. So that um, is what we call them, yeah, that they come to the class. Like I just said, it might be $25, but then it's free if they purchase. We want them purchasing and buying and collecting product. And of course they're gonna spend over $60 so they can get a lot of it for free. So I always run at least one or two of those every single month. And then my other classes are product included. Um, I run a monthly card club where everybody gets about $25 in product every month. Um, and these are orders that I place. They come to me and then I, you know, uh, gather them up. I sort them. I obviously cut their cards for them and then ship them out to them. So uh, because I run classes that are product based and that I'm ordering and that are coming to me, then guess who gets the celebration benefits? I do as a demonstrator. And so what I want to encourage you to do is to really learn and maximize what to do with this product. This celebration product that I earn um, from, from running my business, and it, it, I'm not comparing you to me. Um, I teach this model. Some people have 10 club members. Some people have five. Some people have 50. It doesn't matter. However, you if you do this, you will be earning extra celebration products with your purchases that you put in for your events, to your own, your own personal purchases um, right now, um, you know, just whatever you're buying. But then when you're also ordering for classes that come to you now, if the order is over $60 and my customer gets the celebration item, right? My customers get, get them even, even my car club, because they only get $25. A lot of time I will give them a half a pack of one of the new papers, you know, something like that. But there's a lot of other events that I do where they only get $20 in product or 25. So they're not getting celebration benefits. But when I put the order in and I put two or three together, now, I, now I'm getting one. So um, I want to teach you one of the things that I do to really grow my business in March and April and May. So celebration takes care of itself. It's people will spend the $60 to get the free product and they'll do it multiple times. They'll spend the 120 to get the bigger bundles. Again, we'll do special celebration events and we'll do special things for celebration. And then March hits and it is like crickets. And it is like so sad that we don't get to get, they don't get to get the free product anymore. Well, guess what? My customers are excited. Because I then put together special classes for them using the product that I've earned for free. Um, but I'm very methodical about it. So I can't do all of it. So from the very beginning, I will pick one of the papers. And I pick a paper that coordinates with something that is current 
in the mini catalog. So as an example, last year, we had trusty tools, right? The year before we had the, the daffodil set or the dandelion set and we had matching paper. And this year, I believe I saw there's a toadstool paper or something. So every time that I get a free celebration choice, obviously I'll get what I need to create my samples, um, but then I'll start to get multiples, but I will get all the papers. I'll get, you know, 12 of the papers and, and, or you pick, you choose what your average class number is. And then, you know, I may get 20 of the papers and then I will work on getting as many, much of that paper as I can. So then in March, I can hold a really exclusive special stamp camp and I can include a pack of that paper for free for them. So it's a huge care that I get to dangle but I'm dangling it, dangling it to build my current business. I'm dangling it to build my March sales and my April sales. So this here is one of the examples I'm talking about just from last year. So we were able to get this watercolor melon set, right? I mean, at first I was like, what, who cares about watermelons? But look at those samples, aren't they so cute? This was actually, this class was made by Wendy Lee and she shared it with me and I offered it to my customers too. Um, so, uh, and she's an incredible designer, but I would never would have fallen in love with those watermelons if it wasn't for her. So, but, but this is the secret. It includes all current merchandise it included about $35 in product. If you look closely, it had the sparkle gems. It had, um, the zoo paper, it had the black and white ribbon and it had the glimmer paper. It was like pink and green glimmer paper. It was about $32 in product. I added my shipping, added my tax, added on time for the you know cardstock and for me. So it was about a $40 class. And then they got the watercolor melon set for free. I sold out of that class, right? Like it was so cool. It was a great value for them, right? It helped me build my March sales. Another example, here's one from a couple years ago. It was a tags and bloom bundle. And, and so I created what five cards here and it included, they got, they got to get the bundle. Um, and I included, you know, gems and pearls and ribbon and paper um, from current product. And then they got to purchase the class. And then, so celebration lives on for my customers afterwards. Um, but I do it in the form of designing these specialty classes for them. Um, and everyone is so excited to get them. Let's see. Oh, I think that's all of it. So let me stop my screen share. So that was just some examples of that. So um, I will be very methodical about, so I can't get that many of all of them. So instead of getting like two or three of each, I actually pick one or two specific products and I'll get as many of those as I can so that then I can offer those classes in March and in April. I hope that that helps you to see what can I do with these to actually, you know, grow my business, build my business. And it's, um, but I, I always tell, have people say to me afterwards, like, well, how can you afford to do that? And like, because I am, I am a very intentional from the very beginning of demonstrator ordering. So I start this, I used to start it in December. Well, now I can start it in November and I will just do everything I can with my personal orders to be able to get those products. Um, and I don't sell them on eBay. I don't, I don't, you know, I use them for a lot of different things. Um, celebration personally for me powers my business year round, not just for seven weeks. So uh, something else that I do, um, I really like to stock up on the celebration papers. Um, or if they have a ribbon, and I saw they do have a ribbon this year, and they do have some gems too, but more so for the papers. Let me give you an example. Any of you who are on my email list or follow me, you'll see that today I offered an ordering special, and it's called Mystery Boxes. And so um, whatever their online order is, I put together a box that I ship them of product, and it's brand new product. Um, it's uh, not brand new. Well, it's, it's not been used product. My mystery boxes are usually full of celebration paper, celebration ribbons that I've gotten. Um, they so I can I can offer full twelve by twelve packs of paper, six by six paper, and I haven't paid a penny for them. And so I don't I use what I get for free. I still use it for free for my customers, but they have to place current orders, so it builds my current business. 
Throughout the year, I, I do a lot of ordering specials, like with, with email ordering specials, and I never discount the product. And I never recommend that you do. Um, and I never give like free shipping or whatever. What I do is I give them free gifts with their purchase. Number one, I love gift giving to people. I love that extra surprise and delight. So I enjoy doing it. I enjoy packaging, packaging it up together. I enjoy putting a little candy in there, or little tiny trinkets. I love putting stickers on the package. And I love telling my customers, thank you, that I find you extremely, I'm so appreciative of you. And so I enjoy doing it. This is not a chore. Some people are like, well, I don't want to do all that work. Well, then great. I'll do the work. I'll take my customers, right? I love to put together packages for my customers. And it takes like an hour. Um, but a lot of times I'll do like, if you spend $50, you're going to get a 20 sheets of six by six paper. You're going to get five free cards and a free embellishment. So my free embellishment comes from the host code. Um, the host code is not going to be around for much longer. We still have it. Still, I'm going to be using it until it's gone. Um, but then even that free embellishment might be one, uh, again, a past celebration embellishment. I still have some of the dots from last year. I still have some of the ribbon from last year. So I can still use those as giveaways. But my free paper is celebration paper that I've cut into six by sixes. And then I just mix it all up. Um, last year, we had five different packs of paper. The year before, we had four different packs of paper. The year before, we had four different packs of paper. So I have a lot of paper that I've gotten for free, not to mention the paper that I've ordered that's retired that I don't want to use anymore, then I can use that too. So the celebration product that you're earning now, don't just stockpile it up. Use it to build your current business. And I and, and I use it all year long, um, all year long. So um, there, that is um, one of the, the main things that I do from the very beginning. And listen, we get three and a half months now to earn this product. So I'm really excited about the things that I can do with the extra. Now, yes, my customers, uh, one of the other things I love to do with them during celebration is that if I have a stamp camp, right, and, I, and, they, and they are taking and coming to my stamp camp, I'm focusing on a new bundle. I can easily say if you add on the bundle, you can also pick a celebration choice. So I use those celebration choices, the extra ones, that for the add-ons that people will add on. Um, even though the bundle might not quite be $60, um, for all the orders I'm putting in, I can make get it up to $60 by putting on, you know, a part of another order or something, and then I can offer them a celebration choice. So you, you can use those celebration things, the extra things that you can be getting to help boost your current business. Um, so plan ahead. Uh, a lot of different things we talked about today about different events that you can do to plan ahead. Um, a different things that, you know, getting your, your social media plan. If you are not on social media, I would always venture to say, why? It's free. Facebook doesn't cost you anything. That's free marketing. And it's free. It's not anything you have to pay for. Um, and it's a place for you to remind your customers. You know, you don't have to be a guru on there and go crazy on it, but it's free. So use it. Um, second of all, you could also be going through your your um, just your email list. Then all of this will also can be emailed and should be emailed as well. All right, I think I went through most of my notes in my PowerPoint presentation. Um, today was about helping you see things a little bit sooner, planning things ahead, not just for you but with your team. And I know our brains are focused right now on our on our own Christmas events and holiday events. And pretty soon it's going to be turning over to our own personal family things. And so I want to be able to come to you and thank you for being here to inspire you to think about celebration and how you can use it. Like I said in the very beginning, celebration is powerful, but only if you do something with it, if you share it with others, if you plan events, if you prepare ahead. It is when you are in front of people and you're showing them this beautiful project, a product, they're going to want to get it. So trust and believe in what we have to offer. That starter kit is the most incredible deal in the catalog. I believe that. And so when I talk about it, people feel that from me.
And so it is, it's, it's, it's a kind of a no brainer, right? I, and if people, and that's what we have, this power of celebration is it is like, we're just given without a whole lot of strings attached to it. So uh, thank you for being here. I am grateful for you. I hope that you took away some gold nuggets ahead. Um, and does anybody have any questions that I did not cover? Um, I'm going to just go through really quick. Uh, Linda said, I'm confused about how you use the baggy books. Can you please explain again? All right, Linda, I, I, um, I wish I had a sample to show you, but they're for, they're for samples or for displays. So when I'm doing a class, my card is set up on a table. And let's say I'm using, I didn't catch any of the names. Let's say I'm using that toadstool uh, paper, right? So then on the table with my sample, number one, I'll have... Um, a little recipe card of what I use to make it so that they can buy everything they need. And then two, I will have my baggie book that they can flip through when they get to the table to see all the other awesome things that they can do with that paper besides just that one card. Um, so I do that for all of the product that I'm using. Or if I am doing a video, right? If I'm doing a Facebook Live or a, or a YouTube video and I'm showing a bundle or I'm showing a stamp set, but I'm only showing one card, I will pull out that baggie book and it, it's, you just flip through it because they're in, they're in the clear bags and you just put, you just slide your card in and you can flip through it so you can show. It's like if you go to a store or let's say, um, so they can't do this in stores usually, but they can do it online and you see this cute shirt. And then the other ones are showing you different ways that they're using that cute shirt. Now, all of a sudden, okay, I'm going to buy that shirt because I can see how many different ways to use it. So it is, it's, it's a display and it's a sampler of how you can upsell that product. So hopefully that, that makes some more sense to you. Okay, good. I understand now. Um, let's see. And that is my, uh, my desire for you is to hit the ground running. I think that we've got so much more time um, to do that. All right, mm, seeing if there's any other questions. Uh, Emma said, um, if I'm going to increase, so on the celebration celebration, the amount for my customers to earn their spot to come is $180 in, in purchases. Am I increasing the 150 for the hostess? No, because the hostess is, I'm, I'm rewarding for being a hostess. You better believe, I'm working hard to make sure that party is over 150, but that's the qualifying amount. That's that's what Stampin' Up! says is a qualifying amount for a, a hostess, um, which again, this is the last year for this. After this, that will all go away anyway, but no, I will be leaving it as just that it's it's a, it's a qualified one. Um, uh, Julie said, so what about your team members? How do you handle those of your team that want to attend? Um, I'm not sure attend what. So if it's a celebration celebration, then they get to have a chance to attend my downline one. So there's an option for them to attend that one. Um, now, again, I might have a new recruit that earned her spot to come to my customer one. So, yeah, she gets she gets to come to that as well. Um, maybe you are talking about how do you handle a team member that wants to come to a kickoff. Uh, again, I hold a kickoff for my team. I do that in December. So they have a really special event that they get to attend. Um, but if they want to attend my, my one for my customers, 100%. They can absolutely come. They just pay like everybody else. Uh, I want to explain one thing to all of you who don't know me very well. Um, but I teach this all the time in my training program. I don't label anybody like no one has a label in my world. You are you. I don't, you're not my first level. You're not my third level. You're not a demonstrator. You're not a customer. You're, you're not you. I don't Stampin' up is the kind of company where everybody does their own thing. And I'm not going to pigeonhole you into a hobbyist or a business minded or a demonstrator or a customer. I have a, I recruit all of my customers. I work on that. And so they still want to come to my events. <laughs> they still want to take my classes and hang out with me and watch my videos. Uh, people will say, well, I only have demonstrators who watch my videos. Well, so do I. And I love them. 
they support me and lift me up and talk to me. And yeah, they buy my classes too. And they should be able to. They want to craft just like everybody else. Just like if you had a child that had a, you know, you, you don't label them. Don't give them a label because then they live in that label. And you treat them differently because you labeled them. My customers or anybody that wants to buy my classes, anybody that wants to come to my classes, I don't ask, are you a demonstrator? Well, because then you won't order from me. I don't care if you order from me. You're, you, you order from yourself. I do this because I want you to go home and order for yourself. A lot of my team members come to my classes. A lot of them do. And my classes will include about $20 worth of product. But then we focus on a bundle. And guess what they do? They buy the bundle from themselves. They buy the adhesive and the cardstock and they buy the envelopes and they buy everything that I use. And so my team has incredibly high sales. They sell almost 2 million a year. And a lot of them come to my events and take my events. And I, and I, I treat them all the same. It doesn't matter who you are. So I don't, I don't have any labels. So if they want to come, then I have, I have a payment structure and they follow the payment structure. Every, I, I don't, there's no discount because I charge fairly for the work that I put into it. So if there is, there is, it is what it is. So you pay what it is or you don't pay what it is. Um, I do do events for my team. Every month we do a class and it's only $15. Every month we do team trainings. And um, so they have special events for them too if, that they wanna come to. Um, but then yeah, they can attend all the things that I do. Um, iPhone asked, <laughs> Uh, how do you mean the host of your boards go away? Um, obviously, we're not going to cover that right now, but I will be doing a lot of training on that. But Stampin' Up! announced that they're getting rid of the host rewards, and we're switching over to Stampin' Rewards, where customers will earn free product based on their orders um, and not a hostess per se. So yeah, we're going to be switching to more of a Stampin' Rewards loyalty program, and that will be happening most likely in March of next year. So, and again, um, there will be lots of training that I'll be doing on that with within the um, training program. We'll be covering all the changes. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to it. It's a really positive, good change. All right, I think um, we covered all of those questions. Um, and um, I hope if there is any other, you guys are still welcome to type them in. I definitely didn't see any other ones, but. Thank you for being here. Thank you for trusting me and for investing in you. I hope that you left away with some notes and some action steps that you're going to take. Um, and I can't wait to see what celebration can do for you and your business and for your team as well. Thank you. Take care. Have a great rest of your evening.